Right now, as you watch this video, somewhere in the world, a machine is crushing 120 tons of sugarcane every single hour. That's the weight of 24 elephants, processed in just 60 minutes. What if I told you that the simple white crystals in your kitchen are the product of one of the most sophisticated agricultural operations on Earth? Today we're going deep inside the sugar empire, from towering fields that stretch beyond the horizon to factories that never sleep, processing millions of tons of nature's sweetest treasure. But here's what will blow your mind. Nothing gets wasted. Not even the leftover pulp becomes your dinner plate. Stay with me, because you're about to discover how one plant feeds the world and saves it at the same time. One. Brazil's Green Gold Rush. Picture this. You're standing in a field so vast you can't see the end. Welcome to Brazil's Sugar Kingdom. Brazil doesn't just grow sugarcane. It commands a sweet empire. Every year this South American giant produces over 700 million tons of sugarcane. That's enough to fill the Empire State Building 2,000 times over. But here's the kicker. Sugarcane is nature's efficiency machine. While corn and wheat struggle to reach 10% sugar content, sugarcane naturally packs 16% sweetness. The math is staggering. Just 10 stalks of this grass-like plant can fill an entire kilogram bag of sugar. Compare that to sugar beets, which need significantly more raw material for the same output. This natural advantage has made sugarcane the backbone of a $40 billion global industry. But how do you harvest something this massive? The answer will surprise you. 2. The Great Harvest Transformation For centuries, farmers set their fields ablaze, but today we're witnessing a green revolution. The old way was dramatic but destructive, controlled burns that cleared leaves but filled the sky with smoke. Now, environmental regulations have sparked innovation. Enter the modern sugarcane harvester, a mechanical marvel that's part surgeon, part recycler. These precision machines cut stalks just millimeters from the ground without damaging roots, ensuring next year's crop. As razor-sharp blades rotate continuously, an onboard separation system strips leaves and tops, which are immediately returned to the soil as natural fertilizer. The valuable stalks, they're chopped into perfect segments and stored in a massive holding chamber. One harvester equals the work of 50 manual laborers, but with surgical precision. The speed is breathtaking, 80 to 120 tons processed every hour. To put that in perspective, a single cow would need over a month to chew through what this machine processes in one hour. But speed means nothing if the sugar disappears before reaching the factory. 3. The race against time. From the moment a stalk is cut, a countdown begins. Every minute counts. Sugarcane is like a ticking time bomb of sweetness. The longer it waits, the more sugar is lost to natural processes. That's why you'll see an elaborate dance of trucks and trains rushing to deliver millions of tons to processing plants within hours of harvest. Before any cane enters the factory, scientists collect juice samples from each farm, analyzing sugar content like detectives examining evidence. Quality control labs determine which batches get priority processing, and which might be redirected for different products. The first factory step is a powerful cleansing ritual. High-pressure water cannons blast away field dirt, sand, insects, and chemical residues. This isn't just about cleanliness, it's about protecting millions of dollars of crushing equipment from abrasive damage. What happens next turns biology into gold. 4. The Mechanical Marvel of Extraction Inside these factories, Sugarcane meets its match, machines that can crush with the force of a hydraulic press. The crushing process is pure mechanical poetry. Specialized cutters slice the long stalks into perfect segments, feeding them to interlocking metal gears that tear the cane apart like giant mechanical teeth. Then comes the star of the show, 
massive roller systems that squeeze every precious drop of juice from the pulverized cane. These rollers apply thousands of pounds of pressure, extracting juice so efficiently that the remaining pulp, called bagasi, emerges nearly dry. The numbers are mind-boggling. A modern factory processes 30 tons of cane every hour, extracting roughly 70% of its weight in juice. But here's where the story gets really interesting. What happens to the leftover pulp will change how you think about waste forever. 5. The Bagasi Revolution. From waste to wonder. What if I told you that your next dinner plate might be made from sugar factory leftovers? Bagasi represents one of agriculture's greatest success stories in circular economy. This fibrous pulp, once considered waste, now fuels an entire eco-industry. Modern recycling facilities collect millions of tons of bagasse, transforming it through an almost magical process. First the pulp undergoes intensive washing to remove any remaining sugar and impurities. Then it's mechanically pressed and fed into specialized grinding machines that break down its fibrous structure. The ground material is cooked at temperatures reaching 200 degrees Celsius, sometimes with natural starches that enhance its moldability. The hot, malleable pulp is poured into precision-designed molds shaped like plates, cups, bowls, and food containers. Under extreme heat and pressure, the bagasse forms into solid, durable products. After final drying and coating with bio-based water-resistant materials, these products are ready for use. The environmental impact is revolutionary. Bagasse products biodegrade in 60-90 days under proper composting conditions, while plastic alternatives take 500-1000 years. You're literally eating off tomorrow's compost. Meanwhile, back in the factory, the real magic is just beginning. 6. The Crystal Palace. Where chemistry meets art, this is where science turns golden syrup into the purest crystals on earth. The freshly extracted juice looks nothing like the sugar you know. It's cloudy, golden, and filled with impurities. The transformation begins with lime addition, which causes unwanted materials to precipitate out like settling sediment. Next comes the evaporation theater. Multi-effect systems with three to five connected chambers gradually remove water while concentrating the juice. Temperatures carefully climb from 70 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius, transforming thin juice into thick, amber syrup. The crystallization process is pure chemistry magic. Seed crystals are added to the concentrated syrup, creating nucleation points where pure sucrose can form. As the mixture slowly cools over several hours, crystals grow like geometric flowers. Here's where the brown versus white sugar mystery is solved. Brown sugar retains 3-5% of natural molasses, giving it that rich color and caramel flavor. White sugar undergoes additional refining. Centrifugal spinning separates crystals from molasses, followed by decolorization using activated carbon filters, resulting in 99.9% .9 pure sucrose. The final steps turn these crystals into the product that sweetens the world. 7. The Precision Packaging Ballet In a sterile environment cleaner than most hospitals, millions of sugar packages are born every day. The packaging operation is a symphony of precision engineering. Electronic scales measure exact portions while maintaining accuracy to the gram. Preformed plastic bags are pulled from massive rolls filled with sugar and heat sealed in seconds. Metal detectors scan every package, ensuring no foreign objects compromise purity. The speed is hypnotic. Some lines package hundreds of bags per minute, each printed with expiration dates and traceability codes that can track the sugar back to the original field where the cane was grown. These packages are then packed into shipping boxes and distributed across the globe. But sugar's story doesn't end with cane. There's another sweet revolution happening in America. 8. America's Hidden Sugar Secret The Beet Revolution While Brazil dominates with cane, America has mastered a completely different approach. 
In the vast agricultural plains of California, Idaho, Michigan, Nebraska, and North Dakota, a different kind of sugar story unfolds. Sugar beets, those humble, potato-like roots, supply 55% of America's domestic sugar needs. The process mirrors cane production, but with fascinating differences. Massive beet harvesters work like underground miners using sharp cutting systems to separate roots from soil without breaking them. Modern harvesters can process 12 rows simultaneously, lifting, cleaning, and loading beets onto trucks in one continuous operation. At processing facilities, beets are sliced into thin strips, called cassettes, then soaked in hot water to dissolve their natural sucrose. The resulting juice follows a similar path to cane, purification, evaporation, crystallization, and packaging. The efficiency is remarkable. Each hectare of sugar beet field produces 3070 tons of beets, providing sugar for thousands of households while generating valuable livestock feed from the leftover pulp. This parallel industry proves that sweetness can come from many sources. 9. The Sweet Future – More Than Just Sugar As we've journeyed from field to factory, one truth emerges – sugar is far more than sweetness. This industry represents human ingenuity at its finest, transforming simple plants into not just food, but renewable energy, eco-friendly products, animal feed, and countless industrial applications. Every ton of sugarcane processed supports entire communities, from farmers to factory workers to researchers, developing new sustainable technologies. The next time you add sugar to your coffee, or see a biodegradable food container, Remember the incredible journey behind those crystals, the sophisticated machinery, the environmental innovations, and the millions of people who make this sweet empire possible. What agricultural marvel should we explore next? The citrus groves of Florida? The date palms of California's desert? Let me know in the comments below, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating world of modern agriculture.